Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Well Tutoring. So this video is going to be funny and it's going to make you laugh. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the videos out there where people do like a skit. I'm, I'm not doing a skit because I don't have another person to kind of help me with it. But um, I don't know if you guys have seen the videos where, you know, they're pretending to be patients and weird things that patients say and how the dental professional reacts and what they're really thinking, right? So I'm not going to do a skit because I have nobody else here, but I'm going to share with you guys some weird, silly, stupid things that patients say to me sometimes, what I'm really thinking in my head, but what I say to the patient and kind of how I react to it, okay? Um, I'm one of those people where I'm... I can kind of hide what I'm what I'm really thinking, but if you just give me a second to tell you what I'm really thinking, if you push my buttons too much, I'm going to tell you what I'm really thinking. So I do have some instances of that. And lately, I don't know what it is, but I've just had weird patients where I can't wait to go home to my husband at the end of the day and say, oh my God, you won't believe what happened. Okay, so I did leave some notes so I don't forget um, I have a couple funny things and please be sure to share with me your funny things too. If you're a patient watching this, I kind of apologize for being rude, <laughs> but this is what we put up with. Seriously, I want to post this like everywhere so that people know what we, we put up with. Okay, now let's see. What time is it or um, how far along is this video? Okay, so I can't see where I'm starting the funny stuff. But anyways, I, I can always post that later. But um, okay. So I had a patient that would literally, okay, they come in and this is what they act like, okay? And this happened just the other day. He's a young guy. Um, actually, I shouldn't be too specific because that's not very private, right? So I won't go into it further. But he comes in and he's like, yeah, hi. I don't like you guys, just so you know, but I need my teeth cleaned. I'm like, okay, it's nice to see you. Um, come on in. Oh, we'll be in this room right here. Um, how is everything outside? It looks like it's getting sunny. Yeah, no, it's not sunny at all. I don't know why you said it's sunny. If you look out the window right there, it's cloudy. So here I'm like, oh, well, it looks sunny to me. So I guess we have a different, um, we see sun and clouds differently, I guess, you know, and that's what I actually said, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking you're a jerk. Like, who, who argues about the sun? But anyways, so he has a seat. I sit him down. I sit him back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm looking at him like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm sitting you back. I just told you I'm going to sit you back. You're in for your cleaning, right? Like, did you think you were going shopping? Did you think you were getting your eyes tested? I don't really know what you're thinking. So I said to him, Oh, sorry. Um, when I said I was laying you back, I guess you didn't hear me. I'm laying you back because you're in for a cleaning today. Um, you're, you're not in for a checkup or anything. You're in for a cleaning. Um, I'll, I'll make sure your teeth are nice and smooth and shiny before we leave. You know, whatever. Um, inside, I'm thinking you're an idiot. But anyways. <laughs> and then he says, well, um, oh, I'm getting a cleaning today. I thought the dentist was doing a filling. I have teeth that need to be fixed. Okay, so I look at his chart. Oh, yes, you're in on Monday to get some fillings. Um, it looks like they're working on the teeth on the upper left-hand side. He goes, Monday? Well, my teeth are really sore. Like, you can't even touch them. I'm really, really sensitive. I think you guys normally put that topical stuff on. Please do that because I can't handle anything else. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, well, Monday he will be fixing those fillings for you. Um, I can I can avoid that side today if you if you like. Like I'm totally fine. Um, we can always clean that after he he does those fillings for you. Well, no, my teeth are sensitive down here, and he points to the lower right. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if your teeth are sensitive the lower right. Um, I can put some topical around that too. Um, I can also put something in there called Orakix that does actually help to numb the gum. So it, it, it is extremely comfortable. Like you will not feel a thing. It's amazing. And then he goes, why would you do that? So at this point, I'm really confused. I don't know what he's complaining about. I don't know what his problem is. 
and he's just being rude, right? So I said, oh, well, you had mentioned that your teeth are sensitive. And then you talked about me putting on the topical. So I'm telling you, I can put on the topical, but I can also put on something else to make the gums even more comfortable so you don't feel anything because we do need to clean your teeth, but I don't want you to be sensitive. Uh, and then he goes, no, I don't want to be sensitive. And I'm thinking, are you not listening to a word I'm saying? Now, this went on for a while, you guys, okay? We're talking 20 minutes. So at some point, and like it was back and forth. So I said to him, I said, um, okay, it's been 20 minutes now. Um, how about I put on this aura kicks? I will start in one portion of the mouth first. How, how would I do the lower ones here? Because they did have a lot of tartar. How would I do um, the lower ones here? You know, staying away from all of the areas that are sensitive. I'll only do these ones. And then you can let me know how you do. Yeah, that sounds fine. And I'm thinking, okay, you're being such, such a jerk. So anyways, so I do that. And literally, you guys, I'm putting the mirror in his mouth and he's doing this. He's like literally jumping. And I said to him, I said, be careful because if you jump like that, I could hurt you when I have the sharp instruments in your mouth. I just have um, the mirror touching your cheek. And he goes, oh, well, that's not sensitive. And I said to him, well, you look pretty sensitive because you're jumping out of the chair. He, he goes, well, I didn't say I was sensitive. It's the anticipation that I don't like. And I said to him, yeah, but if you're anticipating something that's not going to happen with a mirror, and I hold up the mirror, I say, look at it. It's not going to hurt you, but you jumping will hurt you because the mirror could knock your teeth or whatever. So if you can just stay still, I can, this won't hurt. And then he says, I didn't say anything about hurting. And I said, well, you're jumping out of the chair. Like, do you not want to have your teeth clean today? Because I don't, you're being, you know, you are overreacting. And I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong, because as soon as I said that, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm being kind of mean. So I quickly said, I'm not saying that's bad, but I don't want you to have a lousy appointment and not have a nice time. If this, if this isn't working for you, then how about we rebook for another day? He goes, but I'm not sore. And like, he's not listening to anything I'm saying. So I said, okay, how about we try? If the teeth are sensitive, let me know. He says, it's nothing about being sensitive. It's the anticipation. This is how the guy was talking to me. It was ridiculous, you guys. So anyways, I could go on like this for half an hour. What happened is he was like that the entire appointment where I was trying to clean his teeth. I did use the Aura Kicks. He didn't like the taste. He didn't like the suction. He didn't like anything. I'd be, you know, pushing a bit to take away the tartar. He didn't like that, so then I had to stop for an hour and probably 15 minutes. It was an hour appointment. I seriously, you guys, got nothing done. It was like super calculus only, but I did absolutely nothing. But having that said, I charged him full price because he took my time. It was a waste of my time. In a nutshell, he thought that, um, actually, no, sorry, I shouldn't say that because I don't want it to I should keep his privacy, right? So I don't want to give the exact situation. I'm just kind of doing this hypothetically, but this is what happened, but I'm leaving out a lot of parts here. But that's what I did. I charged him full price because he took that hour of my time. The worst patient I've seen of my life, in my life, okay? I told, um, there was an assistant that day. I told the receptionist. I told the dentist. That's how upset I was. Like, I was actually upset, my blood pressure was probably through the roof. I was so pissed off that he was being rude and he was being such a, a baby, if I can say that. You know, me touching the mirror is ridiculous. So anyways, like I said, I wish I could do a skit to show you guys what this is like. Let's move on to something else, okay? How long has that been? Um, I think I actually forgot to start the time on my cell phone because I did want to keep track of how long this video was going to be. Feel free to stop it if you don't want to hear any more stories, but if you've had a rough day, listen to these and this will make you laugh, okay? Next one. For that patient who's literally waiting five minutes, they're looking at their clock, they're upset, they're telling the receptionist, like, where's my hygienist? What's taking so long? 
five minute wait, okay? So you're bringing that patient back in, okay? The one that's upset to keep you waiting five minutes. This is what happens, okay? So I have many different scenarios for this, but I'm going to give you one of them. I bring the patient back, literally patients like this, okay? I tell the patient to have a seat and they don't have a seat. They just stand there, okay? This was an older lady, okay? Not older, but I think she was in her 50s, okay? So we're not talking like 80-year-old senior here. We're talking 50, so still young. Um, the lady's like, who are you? Who are you? What? Pardon me? Who am I? What are you talking about? Who are you? You know, that's what I want to say. Um, <laughs> but um, so I said, you know, as a hygienist, we're always thinking inside our head. What the hell is your problem, right? But this is what I said. I said, my name's Andrea. Nice to meet you. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself yet because you haven't even sat down. Um, hi. You know, that's what, that's what I said. And she goes, you're not my regular hygienist. Like that's her face is, you know, I said, no, I'm not. Um, I don't know who your regular hygienist was, but I would be happy to see you today. You're in for a cleaning and I can do an amazing job as well. You know, and she goes, but you're not my regular hygienist. I'm sick and tired of coming here. And I tell them every time I want to see my normal hygienist and she's never here. Okay. So I said to her, oh, I apologize. Um, who is your regular hygienist? She goes, I don't know her name. So I said to her, so you see your regular hygienist and you yell at us for not booking her with you, but you don't know her name? That's, that's what I do, right? It sounds nice, but it's not. She goes, oh, I tell them every time I want to see my normal hygienist. So she still hasn't sat down. So I said to her, well, you should have double checked before you came in today. Um, I apologize. I'm not the one who books the appointments. I'm not the one who you spoke to. But if it was really that important, you should have double checked before you came in today because I don't want to waste your time. I could care less because she's wasting my time, but that's kind of what I said. So she knows I mean business, but I'm also kind of being nice at the same time, right? You know, kind of. I'm not, but I think that's how they kind of see things, right? And she goes, oh, man, well, oh, I just hate this. So I said, oh, well, I don't want you to hate this. Um, I, I, I would be happy to, um, to rebook your appointment so you can see your regular hygienist. Um, I can find out who that is for you since you don't know her name. But I'm um, here. How about I take you back out and we can rebook this? You know? And she goes, oh, well, I'm here now. She still hasn't sat down at this point. So I said to her, well, it's been 10 minutes and you're just talking about how you haven't seen your regular hygienist. So I don't need to see you. Like, this is totally fine. I can see an another patient who wants to see me. This is what I said. She sits down at that point. I am hoping that she'll just leave. She sits down and I, and she says, well, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> so I said to her, so I said to her, I laughed and said, well, I can't just hurry up. Um, if you want a quick cleaning, then maybe you should see a regular hygienist because maybe that's how she did things. But I can't just do a quick cleaning. In fact, we're already like 20 minutes out. I might not even be able to clean your whole milk today because I haven't seen you before. And I don't know how long this is going to take. Yes, I said that. And she goes, oh, well, just do the best you can then. So she's being rude. Seriously, you guys, the entire time and that's what she was like seriously those are the patients that after you're done their cleaning they stand up and say thank you so much that was excellent and that's what she said to me she thanked me afterwards and said thank you so much that was excellent and you know even then i don't know why patients say that to you because i'm thinking excellent compared to what like I'm cleaning your teeth. You don't thank your doctor for your physical and say, thank you so much. That was excellent. Or you don't thank the person, I don't know, your nurse who's prepping you for surgery. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Like 
I kind of feel like I'm being treated like, like a kid and they're trying to praise me. I'm not saying it's bad, but like, that's honestly what I feel like. Like, okay, I'm not fresh out of school here. Even if I was, it doesn't matter, but I'm kind of thinking you're not welcome. So those patients though, I do tell the receptionist in front of them. I say, um, please book Susan. You know, I'm just picking a name. Please book Susan back with their regular hygienist. Um, we don't know the name of that person. Um, and she wasn't sure either, but she really likes her. So please just book her back with her. Okay, Susan, thank you so much. Have a nice day. And I walk around the corner. It's always that patient who wants to see me next. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I tell the receptionist to tell them I'm fully booked, even if I'm not. I say, tell them. I don't know, I'm in high demand and I am fully booked and I'm only taking certain patients. I have no idea. So I don't know if the receptionist is actually saying that, but when a patient is that rude, I can't stand it, you guys, because I would never, if I go to my um, doctor's office and see a new nurse, I would never say to them, oh my God, who are you? Who does that? And how do they think that's okay? It makes no sense. So I don't like that. I have no patience for it. I wish I could just say, okay, well, if you don't want to be here, please don't and leave me alone. Because it just makes me mad like for the rest of the day. So that actually happened. Um, and then, and sorry, I kind of started off that video with talking about time. And then I ended up talking about something else. Um, cause I think I, I was thinking about two patients, but talking back to time and then I will stop it and I'll save some more stories for next time. But I'm um, talking about time that patient who's, who's like mad because you had to keep them waiting for five or 10 minutes, even 20 minutes. I don't understand why they're mad. It's not like we can help it. Right? So those patients that come in, you apologize for keeping them waiting. And then they go, you know, this always happens. Like last time I had to wait 10 minutes and I don't have time for this. I say to them, you know what? I apologize. We actually had a medical emergency. Um, the patient's fine now, but we had a medical emergency that we had to deal with at that time. So, you know, it's usually a lie. Actually, it's, it's a lie. You know, I'm sorry, knock on wood that that doesn't actually happen. But the nice patients will go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Or they usually just go, well, you know, we're here now. So that's okay. And I'm thinking, no, you saying that's okay, but you're being rude. So it's actually not okay. So you're okay if a patient's having a medical emergency, who knows what happened, but you need to be seen on time. You know, I tell them, I say, I apologize. This is healthcare. I can't control when patients are late. If you guys are late, then we are late for the rest of the day. Okay. It means we don't get a lunch or a quick lunch. We can't just use the washroom whenever we want. You know, what I want to say is, sorry for keeping you 10 minutes, but I had to quickly eat lunch. I was starting to feel faint. That's what I want to say to them. Or, you know, sorry for keeping you waiting five minutes, but I really had to use the washroom. You know, sorry for having to use the washroom. You know, maybe you should talk to my boss or any dental office and tell them to schedule patients 20 minutes after their patient so that that way they're not kept waiting so we can use the washroom and so we can eat lunch and we can write up notes and we can play like a therapist to our patient who is crying in the chair because her sister passed away you know this is what we do so how about you cut us some slack for being behind I should really do a video of why you should cut your dental professionals, you know, why you should cut, what, what, what am I trying to say? Why you should leave us alone for being behind and why you should understand and cut us some slack. I think I will do a video on that. That will be the next one, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, you guys, I have a lot of stories, kind of fired up, but I'll save them for another video, okay? Thank you for watching. Comment below some crazy things and some rude patients that have happened to you, okay? In fact, I just thought of another one when a patient um, thought I was contagious and actually called the office after I cleaned their teeth and said that they needed antibiotics. That will be in the next video. Seriously, stay tuned for that one, okay? Wait till you hear this. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click subscribe because more fun things are coming. Thank you guys. Bye.